I've been in the software industry for more than 30 years and being in the technology space in product development, it gave me an opportunity to solve a lot of complex problems. But over the years, I always felt that I was missing something uh, and that particular thing that I was missing was really ability to understand the causal relationships in how we how we really uh, solve the problems. Uh, something like using a researcher's uh, lens, for example. And that really drove me to go for my uh, doctoral work. Uh, at the moment, I am pursuing my PhD uh, from Indian School of Business, uh, Hyderabad. Uh, and, uh, and my research area is uh, on uh, the application of AI uh, in the business uh, domain. How, how is it really driving the business strategy? Uh, it's been about two and a half years that I've been in this journey and I, I'm still uh, part of that journey. Uh, the biggest learning for me really has been in terms of being able to understand the, the whole causality or how we really understand the relationship between uh, between what we call as the independent uh, variables and the dependent variable. So for example, what is it that really is leading to, uh, to the particular outcomes that we are seeing uh, in the field there? Uh, and as a practitioner, uh, doing that research is really, in my view, creating a virtuous cycle. Because whatever I, I learn in the classroom, I'm able to bring it back to the workplace. And that enhances my quality of thinking and quality of execution. And whatever I, I'm already practicing in my day job, I'm able to take it to the classroom and I'm able to provide a much richer context to try to uh, understand the problems. So I think it creates a very, very nice uh, 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 virtuous uh, feedback cycle, which really enhances my learning. I would strongly encourage uh, the, especially the senior professionals to consider uh, how the research can actually uh, make their own uh, uh, quality of work and quality of decision making much higher, even if they don't wish to pursue an academic career. I mean, it's their call if they would like to do that. But even as a practicing uh, uh, technologist or a manager or a leader, I believe that research uh, or, or uh, undergoing a course in um, uh, research or, or completing your doctoral can actually help you uh, change the way you look at the problem, change the way you, uh, you apply your analytical thinking and solve the problems. And when I look at the, uh, the ISPMA India Summit that's coming up in March next year, I think it's a great opportunity for those who are engaged in the research work to really bring their uh, point of views and present it because ISPMA India has really been able to build a very unique community around uh, both uh, the research and the applied work. And I think that is again a very unique thing, unlike most of the conferences that might either focus on only on the academic side of it or the research side of it, or only focus on the practitioner side of it. Uh, and but, but the problem there is that the practitioner side might have great success stories, but we don't quite know why do they work. We don't understand the causal theory behind it. And if it is too uh, uh, if it is too academic or research led, sometimes it might be too ahead in terms of its ideas and there may not be a, a, too much of a practical relevance right away. So doing both of them on the same forum really allows us to create the similar kind of a virtuous cycle where we are able to learn from a lot of uh, applied research that is happening uh, in, in, in some of the product management areas and the work that is happening in the industry and really blend them together for the practitioner and the researcher alike. So I look forward to seeing you all there and uh, if there is any question you have, reach out to any of us uh, and we will be happy to help you from ISPMA. Thank you.